we didn't know at that time what was actually happening in the body as far as why this worked better than a bipolar field. So we went to studying the physics and quantum physics, and I discovered a formula that explained it. It's called the Lamar formula, and that explained what was happening. When you reverse the magnetic field of the Earth, the, the body actually laid in when you actually had your cellular division, well, then you actually slowed down the valence electrons and stopped the charge on them from building up, and you actually decreased the charge, and you actually then stopped chemical reactions rather than sped them up. Now, I should probably uh, review that, how that actually happens. You see, in the first two hours of sleep, you produce most of your human growth hormone. And right. That, make, and that makes your cells divide. And those cells, while they're still in the liquid state as they're dividing, then the, the atoms of the, of the new cells then orientate themselves to the magnetic field. And that means simply that they're going to be dextro or levo. In other words, right-hand spin on the valence electron or, uh, or left-hand spin. And with the magnetic field we have in the, in the northern hemisphere, it means that we're going to have the valence electrons going counterclockwise rather than clockwise, opposite in the southern hemisphere. And this, uh, then, if you enhance the magnetic field of the Earth, in other words, have it going the same direction as the Earth, then you will speed up the valence electrons according to the Lamar formula. And when you speed them up, they cut more lines of flux and they get more charge on them. So when they're charged up more, then they become far more chemically active. And the formula says this leads to precession in electron transfer, which is the basis of all chemistry. So by increasing the magnetic field, we can enhance chemistry by reversing it uh, so it's not natural we can stop chemistry and when you put a tiny little magnet on your body you're speeding up some and slowing some down because the magnetic field loops around from one side of the magnet to the other and that sets off the emergency which is identical to that of acupuncture matter of fact dr saul Liss measured the the hormone changes and he found that the hormone changes were identical to that of acupuncture you got a from a tiny little magnet placed on the hand. He got a 45% increase in bed endorphins. That's the bed endorphins are actually a, a form of morphine, you might say, to reduce pain that the body actually puts out. The brain actually puts it out in bed endorphins for pain reduction. And then the second thing he found that it produced 32% more secretin. That's the feel good hormone, <laughs> and. Thirdly, he found that he got 17% more ACTH, which was the precursor to adrenaline and a reduction of cortisol. Now, now, this is all with just the regular magnets, not your bed. No, no, this is just with a little tiny magnet placed on the hand, a shower curtain magnet. So if you have a bipolar field, like everybody was doing, like Nikon and Japan Life and everybody since, except for us, then you get this emergency response which is good on short term, but uh, devastating on long term because you're depleting the chi or the vitality because the body then has to put out a lot more electricity to that area. Otherwise, otherwise the cells would die. The increase of electricity makes its own electromagnetic field, which protects the cells. So you really pioneered the one-way magnet, a unidirectional magnetic field to enhance the Earth's electromagnetic field, correct? That's right. And then we've patented that. Have you had a lot of challenges to your path? Have you been attacked much? Have you had people come out against you at all? You know, you kind of expect these kind of attacks from people that have no background in, in physics and physiology and, and have bothered to really look up things like the Lamar formula and find out how they apply to the body. And so, you know, you're always, anybody that's out in front is always going to get shot at. You know that. Yes, of course. I was getting kind of discouraged that, you know, I got quack busters were after me and, and the medical profession itself said, oh, this can't be. And how come somebody hasn't thought of it before and so forth? One day I was in my office and I got this call from a man with a German brogue and, and he started asking me all kinds of questions on quantum physics. And I said, who are you anyhow? 
Well, he says, I'm head of the U.S. Fusion Program, and <laughs> we, want to congrat- we want to congratulate you. We're just coming to the same conclusions that you have regarding magnetism and its effect on atoms. And uh, he uh, was very gracious and sent me a lot of very confidential data and stuff. So there you there you have it. I I needed that little encouragement at that time, and uh, so I went on full force since then, and we went on from there to pre- to invent the magnetic molecular energizer with a ten thousand pound DC electromagnet that has the magnetic field going the right way through the body, which does absolutely marvelous things. It grows brain, it grows hearts, and grows uh, herniated discs. And, as a matter of fact, it's so so dramatic. I actually healed a completely broken bone in the arm of a young man in three and a half hours. I'm so excited by what you're talking about. I want to even pull back just a little bit because I want to go into this. First of all, I think it's great that that man called you. The U.S. Fusion Program, that's huge. The angels come in all forms, and so does the reinforcement that you're on the right track. Maybe the smaller agencies are the ones attacking and people with less ability and knowledge and expertise who are not in front of everything and people that are scared financially that what you're bringing into being is going to, quote, chip away at their business. But all pioneers go through this. And yet a lot of times you get your encouragement behind the scenes, (laughs) as you've just displayed. So I'm very, very excited. I want to talk about the MME. Is it like an MRI? Describe what the MME does. It looks a great deal like an open MRI. And what does it do exactly? It actually just makes a very, very strong electromagnetic field, the same level as an MRI, and it goes from above you to below you. In other words, the same direction as the Earth magnetic field. And you put the patient in that, and, and that speeds up the valence electrons on the atoms, so they're going in that case, about 10,000 times faster, and they're actually cutting that many more lines of flux. So the charge goes up uh, very, very high, up as high as a million times the charge. So this is a, it's a big deal. And that's why you can get speed healing, because the chemistry is so dramatically enhanced, or we might say catalyzed. Well, let's talk about the different applications for this, because obviously this is an out-of-this-world device. Who would be going in? Talk about the different applications. Who would want to come in and go through the MME experience? Well, people with strokes, we've treated a lot of people with strokes who are able to regenerate the brain. People with Parkinson's, we've been able to regenerate the cells in the substantia nigra so they have more dopamine. Uh, people with MS have been able to repair the, the scar tissue on the nerves in the brain so that they get their function. Uh, these are all people that we really work with, but probably the most exciting, the newest thing right now. Oh, yeah, and they should, well, we're on neurology. We've treated over 100 cerebral palsy children with at least 90% of them having substantial improvement. Matter of fact, one little boy came to us with virtually no uh, cerebellum, uh, no uh, cerebrum, because uh, he had died in the utero, and uh, so that it all basically was looked like mush on the uh, on the MRI. And three months of treatment of this little boy, we grew a new little brain for him, according to the MRI. And when he came to, he couldn't even suck and, you know, couldn't talk, nothing. He was just a little blob, and uh, he was only uh, eight months old. And so he was tube-fed, and, and uh, when we were done with him, he was able to try and crawl. He could say, Mama, and he recognized people, uh, his relatives, and recognized each one, and watch cartoons and laugh at the right time, at the right at the right scenes. So uh, this is indicative that he actually had a brain that was working that the MRI showed there. So uh, the possibilities are great. Now, this is on a child that has a lot of stem cells and, and you can do a lot with. But I'm going to tell you a story about a chiropractor who was 33 years old that went to 
down to Jamaica and, and uh, on a vacation came back and she began to go downhill and in six months she was in the hospital on a respirator and the physicians in Chicago couldn't figure out what was wrong with her uh, but they 